but so there's plus one. Yeah. There's always a plus yeah. one back there. <clears throat> so what he might not expect is that he actually comes back with some some friends. Yeah, you can call them friends, I suppose, as No-Tail's going to probably start out with a, a Hex into Impale. There's TP support. They're going to back up, though. Telekinesis just finds No-Tail, brings him back. Silence from Ancient Ceiling, Skywrath Mage. One more right-click will finish him <laughs> off, and down he goes. It's going to be a one-for-one trade, though. Bristleback did die in the end, as Cinderin is laughing maniacally in the background. <laughs> Why? I'm getting this image in my head of what an ancient ceiling looks like. Ancient ceiling Skywrath Mage. It's like a... An ancient ceiling. Yeah, ancient ceiling. It's I like... thought you were laughing at something happening in no, the game. I thought no. I missed something. No, no. You're just laughing at me talking. Thank you. Ancient ceiling. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I love okay, that. Well, oh, here's the roar. Into a chain frost. Very nice Troll kill. is extremely dead. Great setup. Only one creep in the neighborhood. Makes for very easy chain frost. It's like saying a roaring beastmaster. I know. I know what a you were saying. A chain frosting lich. You don't need to explain ancient it. Ancient ceiling. It just sounds so good. An ancient ceiling <laughs> takes me back to the Roman Empire. Okay. So eight, 8 and 4 for Cloud9. They're ahead by 3,000 gold and 2,500 XP. Getting a, a couple of very good fights. I think that bottom fight could have maybe gone even better. Eternal Envy seemed to overestimate the tank ability of Bristleback, who was level 7 at the time. Had 4 in Quill Spray, only 1 in Bristleback, so he could have easily carved through him with an Omni Slash. But he saved it, he got another kill instead, and all in all, the outcome for Cloud9 still easily very favorable. Top line, aside from the one death that we saw earlier. Actually, was it two deaths? He On tried X? to first yeah. blood. He's died twice. That's right, but he's, I would say he's been fairly successful in the top lane overall. Um, what is Nature's Prophet? get this game? Do you go Orchid right away? Do you go for a little bit of DPS with, or even farming capabilities, Desolator or Maelstrom, something to that effect? He seems to be very active. Yeah. He has mm. the Midas, by the way. Hmm. I think Bone7's go-to build at this point is Orchid. Oh, oh mid lane gets to hold your horses. Cinderin Fata gets initiated on by the amalgamation of HGT. A big Chain Frost comes down there. Roar as well. The Chain Frost is going to continue to bounce. And Bone7 is there. He's going to finish off Rubik with these. And Air falls in the end. That is four dead for HGT. And all C9 loses is Fata, who was the Wait. one that got initiated on to begin with. Yeah, they killed Bristleback Bottom at the same time with Lion and Juggernaut. That Chain Frost and Roar combination, perfect from Cloud9. They've shown up today that... That was a beautiful play. See, that's the one that should be in top plays right there. That was incredibly... It won't well be. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee. He has the highest net worth, too. So should the enemy team kill him, the, um, the rubber band effect is going to hurt harder when they lose the profit. I think it's just a uh, classic hashtag EE math efficiency <laughs> to give that to Bone7. You did not just say that. I did not. Okay, good. You, whatever you heard was not what I said. The SMJ finds himself in the river next to are close to an invisible Eternal Envy as his Tier 2 tower is taking a beating bottom. Oh they man, he is in such a good position with the Invis rune. Oh boy. There's a sentry there spotting him out. Fortifications popped. Wow, Finger of Death and the Wrath of Nature is enough to take out just the Rubik. No Tail will trade his life. He'll be fine with that, I suppose. As Envy apparently used Omni Slash. He's going to be able to get this kill. He's going to take a couple more right clicks. Oh, Mask of Madness close. will wear off. Yeah, he stopped the TP with that Omni Slash. Uh, ZSMJ was trying to port bottom to assist in that fight, and stopping the stopping the TP with Omni Slash, even though he didn't get the kill. The board is how much attack speed does that have? What the boar? No, that doesn't matter. What am I talking about? Why are you baiting me into saying dumb things? Well, the boar itself doesn't get Maelstrom. That's the thing to remember. With that's very important. Yes. It's just it's the shield. Easy. I, I think honestly, if he puts the shield on the boar, they're just going to nuke it with a spell or two. That's right? true. <laughs> I mean, they don't have to it, attack. I it. just want stifles. Oh boy, finger of death onto air along with the chain frost, and the bounce is going to continue. It's only going to bounce once though. They do get the easy kill on Troll. 50 seconds on the side. ZSMJ takes the roar to the back of the head. Here comes the counter initiation from Icy with the BKB pop. Fata taking a lot of damage from the Mystic Flare. It's not enough to find the kill, however. Pretty Ha stuck in the wrong place. Only a couple attacks from Bone7 are going to be enough. And now Icy completely mana drain with the Necro Book along with the mana drain from Lion. That's three dead in the form of C9's aggression. And a tier two not looking too hot. Yeah, very easy for them. They might even get Kaka here. TP from Bone Seven. He's totally out of position. He Wasn't is all over the map. For it. Bone Seven. And there we go. Envy grabs his first kill of the game. I think you still just, just you push. put the. I think you put the Mjolnir on whoever X calls. I think that's what you wait for because he is going to be the selected target. Oh, the right? SMJ getting managed right so hardcore, and he's just going to get beat down. This is a full team wipe. C9 didn't lose anybody. Nobody's even hurt at the moment. 
It's gonna be at least a tier three tower, if not more. That's easily the racks. I don't think they can get any. Oh, okay, a little bit of a miss on the impale from Big Daddy. But yeah, there, there is no way they do not get this barracks now. I think, or maybe they do pull back because they're not. They might not be sure whether Bristleback has buyback, which he doesn't, and they will go back. The the risk here, risk reward ratio, probably not worth it. They can just wait a bit, gather some more farm, maybe get the next Aegis, and then siege again. They know Roche is up soon. In one minute and fifteen. How to soon be is the question? Exact. Yes. Now, the question is, do they feel, let's say Roche would be, like, when he spawns, will they feel comfortable taking him without getting a pickoff first? Are they at that kind of an advantage? Mass Ping's coming out from Lion. We're going to see an attempt from Fata to gank him here with Bones, uh, with, with No Tail. Oh, Bones 7! There's the sheep from No Tail. TP completely cancelled. Air actually pops the Battle Trance. No, actually he didn't, sorry. Either way, really easy kill once the TP was cancelled. Very nice. And now a Tier 1 tower. It's going to be backdoored by Envy. And Bone 7 is almost got his hex now as well. Still staying. Look at his net worth. Oh my goodness. 17,000. He's now going to port mid for IC. Give the man some more money. 8, 0, oh, and 10. Man. Bone 7's back. Let's hope this isn't a one time thing. Yeah. Careful you don't jinx it just like the Navi's back. <laughs> that did not work too well for them. Oh man. It's too soon, man. It's too yeah, soon. I'm sorry. Wow, he even finished his Scythe of Vice. Yeah, I didn't mention that a moment ago. That is beautiful. <laughs> he just finished it, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Tier 2 tower, going to be taken out without any defense from HGT. Even the Tier 2 top might go down as well. Just free money. They have no C9. response at all. They're so extreme with key cooldowns used. Oh, here comes the Berserker's call onto Bone 7. He's going to take a lot of damage. Remember, he does have the Aegis. He might fall, but... Not before he does a ridiculous amount of damage. Four dead in the dying. blink of an eye. Age is not even used. GG's are called. This is game one, of course. It is a best of three. For Cloud9 fans. Looking pretty good. Get boned. I like that. Get boned. That's exactly what happened, actually, in more ways than one. Yep. Bone 7 looking very impressive in this game. Got off to a really good start. I like, we've mentioned this a couple times, the fact that he played Nature's Prophet and ganked a lot at the beginning means he doesn't necessarily have to win his lane 1v1, right? No. So it puts a lot of pressure off him. He can go to a different lane, help his teammates out, get the number advantage, and it just snowballed him. Yeah. And he was the top farmer in this game by a... In the past, have failed to push against high ground with... As we have a double smoke, they're going to collide. Oh. Very shortly, Icy runs into Eternal Envy, gets a nice burst of call, but a big chain frost along with the frost... Wow, actually, the finger did almost nothing. As the Bruce split is there, it's going to dissipate a lot of the damage. It's the one for one at the current point in time. As Misery, <laughs> he buys a Mass or a Midas right before he drops to death. And C9 does not come out on top of that. It's a two for one overall. They did get the axe, though. The Fata is actually TPing. They, they might want to defend here. Here's a TP being shown. Centaur pops his ult. Omnis is doing a lot of damage. Kaka blows up. Even the Medusa in less than half a second gets brought down with ease. Icy calling play will not do anything. As that is three dead. Wow, that was some, a lot of burst damage for C9. My goodness. Envy has really high farm, so you cannot stand isolated like that with a Vengeant Dusa, where Dusa even doesn't have Stone Gauge. Uh, Stone Gaze. That was just, that was way too easy for Cloud9. HGT didn't even get to open that fight, and but because of Crimson Guard, it's 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 decent. I mean, all you really do need is the blankets. Here we're gonna have a swap on the No Tail. Looks to be an easy kill, but here comes Eternal Envy. A nice, beautiful double impale for Big Daddy No-Tail. Chain Frost will connect. Vengeful Sphere is the first to fall. And Air cannot use Primal Speed because he has no mana whatsoever. Thanks to No-Tail's mana drain as Fata goes and finishes him off with the double edge. And they're going to continue the pressure as Icy on the run. But there's a Mystic Flare. Bone 7 taking a ton of damage. Might go down here with another right click. It's not going to be in range, though. Scrat is going to focus all the attention on No-Tail. just uses the finger of death on Axe's face as ZSMJ with no ultimate to work with. Eternal Ivy, no mana though. Does he want to really continue here? No-Tail, going to get... Oh, the Hoofstomper oh is going to save God, his life. Enter the double edge. And down goes another hero for HGT as the buybacks come back. Who was it that popped back? Was that Brew again? And he lost all his mana in a blink of an eye. He has not used Primal Split, Sindarin. I feel like I haven't seen it the whole game. That was phenomenal Lion play right there. No-Tail... Come there. Uh, the Dagon is level. I, it was level two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Lich can pretty much solo the. Hmm, can he actually solo anyone? He can solo uh -oh, the Skyrim. Stampede, hoof stop, double edge to follow. Axe, insta gibbed. T 
Tier 2 down. Push continues. Double damage on Juggernaut as Weppus is pointing out. Love you, Weppus. Diffusal Blade as well. I didn't even mention that. That's going to be... We talked about how it's kind of under... Oh, God. Omni Slash is there. Look how much mana is drained from ZSMJ, who gets swapped to the last second. I think the Double Edge still went off as Mystic Flare is going to be used to take out the Aegis. Second split of the game. Yeah, Primal Split used. We'll see how much effect it's going to have. Blade Fury for Eternal Envy. Wants to get back to safety. As Misery still has Chain Frost to work with. They can kite a little bit longer, just make them waste this Primal Split. Here comes the initiation from Fada again. Double hoof stomp, double edge, that's two deaths just like that. ZSMJ does have full mana with the Mana Shield Applied Air. He's almost useless at this point. Already used the Primal Split, ZSMJ, pop Stone Gaze, but not going to find any stone targets. As Icy. Did he actually respawn? Is that how long this has been going? Or did yeah. he buy back? He Jesus. respawned. All right, he's a low level. Impale's going to miss. Good blink out for Icy. This is going to be maybe even a Rax. A lot of spells have been used. Another double hoof stop for Fada. Into double edge. Into the chain frost. My goodness. Execution is just out of control for C9. They are on the same page today. That is for damn sure. As ZSMJ is going to be the last target to take out. And it's a team wipe. Whew. He's going to bite back. He cannot, He can't do anything against this Cloud9 lineup. There are five heroes. Sure, they're somewhat low. Healing Ward, 20 seconds on cooldown for Eternal Envy before they can just go to the second lane. Skyroth is going to try to make a move here. But man, they just lost so much right there. Swap. Yeah, Eternal no Envy spin. might find the ground. Another double hoof stomp. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Fada playing out of control. Mystic Flare is not even going to do that much damage. The ZSMJ is going to go down again. That is a dieback, and the GG's come out. HGT is no longer in the tournament. C9 will move on. All right, I have to say, <laughs> the last 10 minutes, man, the execution for C9. I don't know what, what they ate today. Maybe they had... Usually the saying in America is you ate your Wheaties, but kids these days don't eat Wheaties. They had co like cookie crisps or cocoa crispies, something delicious that really hyped them up. You okay? Yeah. If you want to get Envy excited for a game, give him some cocoa crispies and he's. No, he 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 watched it. anime. That's his food.